this video we are going to see evaluation of integral by substitution method so this is our first example now how to solve these kind of examples how to choose a proper substitution here okay if suppose a minus term is there okay we have to use the result in the form let me write here 1 minus sine square theta equal to cos square theta so what we have to do, we have to take a substitution in terms of sine here, okay. But what is the proper substitution in terms of sine here for x that we have to choose, okay. We have to convert the term into the form 1 minus sine square theta so that I can write it cos square theta, okay. So let's see how to solve the example. First of all, always write down your given integral. Integration 0 to a x raised to 5 by 2 root a minus x dx that is equals to integration 0 to a x raised to 5 by 2. Now here we can find a common. If we find here a common that is 1 minus x upon a and now comparing this term with this. So we can use the substitution for put x upon a equals to sine square theta okay that is x equal to a sine square theta but if we replace your x in theta definitely we have to replace here its integral also in terms of theta and also we have to change the limits these are the limits for x we have to find limits for theta okay so to find your dx, differentiate your substitution. Sin square theta that is 2 sin theta cos theta d theta. Okay, this is the value for dx. And uh, now change the limit. For x equals to 0 for your lower limit. If we put here x equal to 0 in our substitution, we get sin square theta equals to 0. And from this, we get theta equals to 0. Okay. And for upper limit, x equals to a. If we replace your x by a, then we get a equals to a sin square theta. a a get cancelled. That is sin theta equals to 1. But when your sin theta is 1, when your angle is pi by 2. Right. For pi by 2 sin is 1. So these are the limits. Now using all these values here we get our integral limit from 0 to a replaced by 0 to pi by 2. Then we have taken here substitution for x a sin square theta bracket raised to here pi by 2 a 1 minus x upon a. Here x upon a we have taken sin square theta and dx we got here dx 2a sin theta cos theta d theta. Okay and now simplifying here terms integration 0 to pi by 2 a raised to 5 upon 2 sin square theta if we multiply by 5 by 2 2 to get cancelled sin raised to 5 theta and uh, here 1 minus sin square theta that is cos square theta into 2a sin theta cos theta d theta now see here integration 0 to pi by 2 root a cos square theta means a raised to 1 by 2. Now we are going to solve your constant term first. Okay. Now a raised to 5 by 2, a raised to 1 by 2. If we solve base is same doing the addition of powers. So a raised to 6 by 2 that is a cube. So calculation of these two terms become a cube and here also a present. So I can write here a raised to 4 
and this is your two constant. Then here, sine raised to 5 theta sine theta. That is going to be sine raised to 6 theta. Now cos square theta. If we take the root, that is cos theta, cos theta into cos theta. That is cos square theta again, d theta. And uh, keeping this constant term outside the integral, integration 0 to pi by 2, sine raised to 6 theta, cos square theta, d theta. Okay? And we all know here, reduction formula for this. That is, so using this formula here, that is sine raised to m theta, cos raised to m theta, First of all, we have to solve for m in numerator, then for n, and then at denominator, both together, m plus n, doing the addition, and reduce it by 2, multiply by k, where k is pi by 2, if both the term m and n are even, otherwise it is 1, okay. So, using this result here, we can write our integral 2 a to the power of 4, Solving for this 6 first, 6 minus 1 that is 5, 3, 1 into, for 2 then 2 minus 1 it is 1, divided by 6 plus 2, it is 8, reduced by 2, 6, 4, 2 into, 6 and 2 both are even, so value for k that is pi by 2. And now simplify the term, here 2 to get cancelled, it is 3 to the 6. So, we get answer 5 a to the power 4 pi upon that is 8 into 8 64, 64 into 2 128 that is the final answer. So, this is how using substitution method with the help of reduction formula we can solve integration. Okay, let's solve here one more example. This is our next example integration 0 to a x cube root a x minus x squared dx. Now again, we have to write the term into the required form 1 minus sine square theta so that I can write it cos square theta. And for this, we are going to do your adjustment in our given integral. Let's find your a x common. What is remaining? 1 minus x upon a dx. And now, comparing this with this. So, we have to use here substitution. Put x upon a equals to sine square theta. So, that gives you x is equals to a sine square theta. Replace your dx by differentiating a 2 sine theta cos theta d theta. Also, we have to change the limits for x equals to 0. If we solve using this substitution, we get theta 0. And for x equal to a, that is our upper limit. If we replace here x by a, we get theta pi by 2. Your limits also changes. So, using all this substitution, integration 0 to a. That are going to change by 0 to pi by 2. Okay. Then x cube. We have taken substitution for x. Right here. A sine square theta bracket cube. Root a x is a sine square theta in bracket 1 minus x upon a, we have taken the substitution, sine square theta and dx, we got it is 2a sine theta cos theta d theta. So, here again, first of all simplify now. So, that is a cube, 3 to the 6 sine raised to 6 theta, in bracket a into a a square sine square theta, sorry this is a root, 1 minus sine square theta, it is cos square theta, 2a sine theta cos theta d theta, that is equals to 0 to pi by 2, 
a cube sine raised to 6 theta taking a square root a sine theta cos theta 2a sine theta cos theta d theta okay now here first of all all the constant terms keep outside so 2 into a raised to 5 integration 0 to power by 2 sine raised to 6 theta sine theta sine theta so sine raised to 8 theta cos theta cos theta it is cos square theta d theta and now using your reduction formula first of all let's solve for this 8 less than 1 7 reduced by 2 5 3 1 into then for this 2 2 minus 1 is 1 divided by 8 plus 2 10 8 6 4 2 into 8 and 2 both are even so value for k is pi by 2 okay that is equals to here 2 to get cancel 5 to the 10 3 to the 6 so we get here answer 7 a is to 4, 5 pi a bond 8 is the 64 into 128 into 2 256 that is the final answer for the integral so i hope you all understood how to solve the integral with the help of substitution method okay so if you like the video don't forget to subscribe it thank you for watching this video and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification for next video thank you